Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to change over the filament on your Zortrax M200. Um, here we've got a spool of white ZABS currently loaded on our M200. Here's some green ZABS, so uh, let's get going, get it sorted. Just grab the camera up here. So in the menu, you just want to go down to filament and then unload filament and then it will begin heating up the extruder and once it's up to the temperature you'll see it start to eject uh, it can take a little while so I'll pause the footage for now and come back in a second okay so you can see it withdrawing the filament there and then just remove the tube in from the top and out out it comes have to go around the back okay so I'm just going to show you quickly how to remove the filament without uh, getting any tangles uh, so you want to just like rotate the spool and it should load itself back on quite nicely and then grab the last little bit before it comes out and as you see on the spool you've got little holes here um, just poke the filaments through and keep it nice and secure to stop it coming loose when you're storing it on your shelf or cupboard or whatever And let's load up the new spool now. So, reverse the process, take it out of the holes, and load it on the back, and just, just poke it into the tube there. And feed it all the way through. Then if we come round to the front of the printer, you should have a little bit of filament sticking out of the tube like that, which is ideal. And you just want to put that into the top, into the hole there. Get it ready, so you want to get it down to just above the uh, driving gear there. And you can see, quite tricky with one hand actually. So poke that in and then leave leave a little bit there to grip so you can, so you can give it a little push if you need to. Just have that ready. And go back to your menu and select load new filament. Just waiting for it to heat up the extruder as it's cooled down slightly. You can see that there. Okay, and now you can see it start to feed in. And at this point, you can let go, place the plastic tube, and if we look down at the nozzle. See there's a little bit of green still remaining. But as it drives the the, the new colour through, you should see that start to appear any second. There we go. So it'll just eject uh, as much of the the uh, first colour that we've got in there. Just eject that out. Now you can see it's coming out nice and white. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video, visit dream3d.co.uk.